Yo, what up? This is Alan, and um, I'm gonna be doing my first ever Photoshop tutorial on this channel, and I hope you like it. And this Photoshop tutorial will be on the easy to medium level. I suggest you um, get to know Photoshop a bit better if you've never used it, so you can follow. Um, it would be easier for you to follow me. Um, also, it'd be easier for you to understand me. Um, so. Just to tell you, I'm doing this commentary off the fly, so if I make a mistake, my bad. And alright, let's get started. So this is what we're pretty much going to be making today. Um, I'm just going to call this carbon fiber. And I will post the link um, for this uh, background, um, the PSD and the JPEG file, um, in the description. So enjoy. Alright, so we're going to start off with this, and you have to have a background to create any... You have to have one of these um, backgrounds or frames, whatever, to create a YouTube background. So you can just Google this up and uh, download it. So once you have this, you open it up into the Photoshop. And then I'm going to now open up my two images. Let's see here. Okay, let's find carbon fiber first. I'm going to go to... Alright. Let's see where it is okay here we go so I'm gonna open up this image and then I'm gonna open up another image alright let's see let's see there we go I'm gonna scroll all the way down till I find it and there we go alright so now that we have these two um, I'm going to take this and drag one of these things out and then you click the move tool which is right here and you're going to drag this into your Photoshop file you can just close out if you want and you want this behind the frame so you're just gonna drag it below it alright so now you're gonna like corner it up and make it and make it fit so to make this bigger, you can press Control T, the um, transform command, and you just can pull at one of the edges and stretch it out. There we go. Now press Enter, and now we're going to import this file. So we're going to go back here, drag this out, and then we're going to drag this back in. And you can X out. And I want this to actually be inside the frame, like merge into the frame. So I'm going to center this up and then I'm going to hold alt go in between these two layers and click so it should be merged into the frame now you can press control T again for the transform and you could just um, play around with it um, until you you like the fit and uh, let's see here alright let me just alright that's about good Alright, so I want this to match the background, so I'm going to uh, turn this photo into a black and white. So you just go to Image, Adjustments, and go down to Black and White. And then once you're there, hit OK. Um, what else you can do um, is uh, you can also change the brightness of the colors in the back. But uh, for time's sake, I'm going to save that for later. So now I'm going to make text. And I'm gonna give it kind of a kind of a cool effect in a minute. So Alright, it's kinda of laggy right there. So you can press Control T again, transform it, and as you can see up here, there's a there's a specific um, value you can enter for the rotation, and I'm just gonna put in ninety so it's about perfect. And you're gonna click the um, move tool and press apply and you can just uh, drag it up on the side here and I'll make it I'm gonna drag it a bit more out uh, move it a bit more up and I'm just gonna make this that big alright and then make sure you're on your uh, text layer and press create a new layer hold down alt again and go in between the layers and click now you're going to select your paintbrush tool and select a color lighter than the color of the text. So if it's black, I would I would pick something near a light to dark gray. I'm going to 
choose that color and make sure your paintbrush um, is one of these um, filled in circles. Uh, it doesn't matter which size, whatever size fits your um, taste, just use it. So what you're going to do is uh, make sure you're on this uh, clipping mask that is on top of this. You're going to click, hold down shift, drag. Holding down shift makes uh, makes you paint in the color straight. And what you next, uh, the next thing you're going to do is right click on your text layer. Um, go down to resaturize type, click on it. And then you're going to right click again. And then you're going to merge clipping mask. Alright. And now I'm going to add the metal bars up top. So how you do that is go to the custom shape tool. Uh, select rectangular tool. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in here to be more accurate. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is just drag a shape out. Alright, and you don't have to create a new layer for this, it will do it automatically, but if you want to, you can. And I want this behind the background so it doesn't stick out as much. So I'm going to hit it up right there. And if you want that metallic bar feel, you're going to go right click, blending options. Alright, wait for that to load. Go to gradient overlay and make it from gray to white. Don't make the gray too uh, bright because then you can't really see the effect. Alright. So now I'm going to right click and duplicate the layer. If you want only one metal bar, well, that's fine. You can do it any way you want. But uh, I like I prefer two bars because it just looks cooler. So I'm going to drag that down and click. Um, make sure you're on shape one copy. And you're going to create a new layer and then you're going to make another square and this is the box that uh, holds those little icons uh, let me show you here uh, holds these little icons right here and uh, you want to create a box to hold them because it just looks better um, also what you want to do is create a fade at the bottom of your background because um, if you just leave it like this it'll just cut off and it just wouldn't look good Alright, so what you're going to do is make sure you're at the top of the, at the very top layer. Click create a new layer. Go to your paintbrush, and now you want to go to this uh, circular brush, but that has like, um, it's like a fading sort of brush. And you're going to select your color as black. And you are going to click, drag, and there's your fade. You can go over it one more time if you think your fade is a little too too um, weak. Now I'm going to do an outer glow on the um, frame or the background. So you're going to right click, go to blending options. Alright, and you are going to go to outer glow. And make sure you're on the outer, uh, click outer glow also. Um, you are going to make it white, press OK and bring the opacity up to 100% and you can bring the spread up um, I suggest you not bring the size up because this is what will happen and that just wouldn't look good alright so we'll just bring it down to 5 that's the default and then just press OK and you're pretty much done um, in future videos I will be including the background templates and they're probably going to be exclusive videos to subscribers to Field Cinema only, so please subscribe to them. And also, I'm going to be doing a dual commentary, I think, around Friday or Saturday. Um, and that's going to be to Field Cinema users only. Um, also, I will be giving out intro templates, how to do intros, uh, I mean, uh, tutorials how to do intros on Field Cinema. I won't be posting much of these videos on my channel, um, but I will be on my other channel, so please make sure to, um, to subscribe to them and um, rate it if I get bad comments for this uh, or if you guys don't like it I just won't do it and yeah remember that the link is, is um, in the description and uh, thank you for 200 subs by the way alright peace